This morning, I woke up pretty early, like I normally do, or like I'd like to normally do. I grabbed a bubbly, cracked it open, and unboxed this. Awesome, the Cinebloom filter is here. It's the 20%, it's on the camera now. The only problem is, is it's raining and I've gotta go downtown to grab some packages. This video is gonna be me testing it out, kinda of showing you what I think it's doing and, and how I like it, and then I'm going to kinda of give you my thoughts on it in another video. So, if you're okay with that, continue watching. If not, smash this like button and get the hell out of here. Also, if you remember, I did say something about having an idea for this filter in a previous video. I actually do have that idea, just the thing hasn't arrived yet. I'm waiting for a call to go do that video. So we will, you will see this thing again in the near future. And I think it's going to look super awesome. I do. I do. I'm gonna drop off these packages and George is making the Golden Hour by James Coffey and Peter McKinnon, which I'm super excited to try because it arrived yesterday and uh, haven't haven't tried it yet. There you are. I don't really feel like you guys want another driving scene, so. Go drink some of that coffee. Nice. This coffee is actually really good. McKinnon James Coffee said it earlier, the Golden Hour blend. They've released this before. This is the first time I've ever had coffee from them. It's pretty good. But that's probably not why you're watching this video. You wanna know more about the Cinebloom filter and frankly, so do I. So I'm gonna show you right now just what it looks like with and without. Obviously I didn't show you that earlier, but just check this out. So here it is. Without. With, without, with, without. So you can see it actually does do quite a bit. This is the 20% again. So the 20% probably a lot stronger than most people would like. I personally really like it. I'd, I'm probably gonna pick up the 10 as well. It just gives that kind of old school Napoleon Dynamite super bad vibe. I just, I really like the look. It's not for everybody, but I'm really looking forward to using these things more. Let's just put that back on there because I think it looks just way better. Definitely, if you're gonna be shooting during the middle of the day, this is probably not the one that I would recommend. I would say get the 10%. When light hits this thing, it just washes out like crazy. It, it does look really cool, but at, like if that was the sun, it would probably just blow this thing apart. Pretty much always during the day, I'm shooting with a variable ND filter. So I've got, I've got this two to five stop here. One thing about this filter that makes it so usable is it's actually threaded on the inside. So I'm still able to put my variable ND filter over top. So essentially, you can you can stack the footage. Kind of looks kind of looks crazy. It's just another tool in the bag. Kind of want to go order the 10. 
If you guys are looking at getting picking up one of these, uh, check out my link below. It goes straight to there. It is an affiliate link, so if you do buy it, it doesn't cost you anything. I do make a little bit of a kickback from that. This is not a sponsored video in any way. I paid for this with my own money, and I will be buying the 10 with my own money as well. Thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Another pro tip would be make sure that you put the right label on the coffee.